What's happening, YouTube? It's more motivation back for another video. So I'm reacting to one of my old videos. Um, me attempting the Rocks legendary cheat day. So I'm gonna provide a lot of perspective. It's also a good way for me to reflect back on who I was before. And uh, hopefully this can be a video that teaches you the, the positives and negatives of fitness in a way and what it can turn into if you're sort of restrictive, okay? So if you haven't been following the journey, I've been in YouTube for about five years. I'm still, you know, trying to make my way up. In the beginning of my journey, I was very strict, very fixated on weight, and I did things that weren't very sustainable, okay? I don't know how many people deal with this. And if you're somebody new, this may be something you come across. It got so bad to the point I had an eating disorder. And I feel like this is very important to touch on because fitness needs to be something you can do long term. And if you're too eager to get results quickly, you're comparing yourself to other people, and you're doing things that work for other people, expecting it to work for yourself the same way, you're setting yourself up for failure. So this video here gives you a lot of perspective. It's fun to watch, but also in a way, I'm not proud to take a look at this, but it's also life lessons. You know what I mean? It's one of those things that you say, if I knew what I knew now back then, I'd be in a better place now. You can't go back in time, but can only look back and reflect. Anyways, let's get into the video. Three, two, one, let's react. We're gonna skip forward. This is me deadlifting. It's, too, it's actually funny, I used to think this was heavy. Now it's not so heavy. Back in the day. Back late down on YouTube. It's your man, your brother, Demulo Fitness. So today So back in the day I used to call my thing Demulo Fitness. So now obviously it's more motivation. Um I have many reasons why I changed the name. I don't wanna be associated with uh fitness anymore. I wanna be associated with self help, self improvement. You know what I mean? Different mindset. It can't just be fitness, so that's one of the reasons why I changed it to more motivation. It is Saturday, and we're prepping for our cheat day tomorrow. So we're gonna do the Rock's legendary cheat day. What is it? I don't like my voice here. Goodness. Anyways, I was much younger here. Well, not much younger. I still look the same. More facial hair. But basically, the Rock's legendary cheat day is uh, five or four pizzas, 21 brownies, um, what else, 21 brownies with peanut butter, um, four pancakes, or four large um, pizzas, or four pizzas, and then 12 pancakes. Let's see if I, if I recall. It's gonna be 21 brownies. Four medium pizzas okay. and 12 pancakes. So, of course, so I don't want to spread out the meal so it's not as difficult, okay? And uh, so I'm going to show you guys how I make the brownies, you know, clips. It's me working. I remember the old supplement shop I used to work at. So, uh, I look very, uh, uh, very small here, to be honest. Let me just skip past. But this is me prepping the brownies here. Six hours later. What's up guys? It is time. So by looking at it, it shouldn't be a problem to me. So here at a, so all 21 of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna So basically, yeah, so this is a 21 brownies. It came out to about almost six thousand calories. I can see it here. Jesus, uh, 540 carbs, about 321 fat, and only 52 grams of protein. So a lot of uh, calories, 
a lot of bad quality here and vegetable oil Oof. so to 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 give you more perspective so this day here i started the challenge at 12 sharp so 12 on the sunday so normally for the six days of the week i would have a strict eating regime so it was very very strict and on the seventh day which was this day i will have my cheat day it got to the point i was overspending it was becoming challenges and the recovery after those days <laughs> it took me to the wednesdays of the following week to recover that's how much i ate on those days so that's how bad it got so this is one of the side effects of depriving yourself doing too much cardio training overtraining, not eating enough calories your cravings go through the roof and if you allow yourself to have cheap days or cheap meals it can get to a point that's out of control okay i feel like a lot of people need to hear this because that can be a negative thing of dieting it can be a negative thing just keep that in mind if you know i'm gonna eat them with pink stupid so I got the calorie counter on the bottom. I'm gonna skip forward. I finished it all. So later that day, so this is me doing a workout. I'm gonna skip that because you guys don't care about that. But this is me in the kitchen making the pancakes. I think of like Eggos pancakes or whatever. This is me. So I basically ate the pancakes with uh, ice cream. Okay. About to check out some soccer games. Enjoy. So it came out to about 1,325 calories. <laughs> um, so it was uh, 12 blueberry waffles or blueberry pancakes waffles. I don't know why I click waffles, but those are pancakes. Um, you got Oreo ice cream and you got syrup. It's a lot of calories. So this is me just, I think during this time too was the World Cup. This is me in the living room even when I used to be at my parents back in the day, back in the day. And I was a lot smaller here too. So the total amount of calories so far is uh, 7,087. So quite a bit of calories. I don't know how some people eat this in one setting. I could force myself back then to do it, but discomfort is just too much. Just about to finish off another working and then we'll go. So this is me at work again. I usually I worked every day at this at this time. So I worked Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday. So Monday to Friday, it was about from 5 to 5, 5 in the morning to about 5 p.m. Then go to the gym, meal prep, all that stuff. And the weekends, it was normally, I normally opened the store and worked to about like 5 as well. So I was, I was pretty busy back then as well. Never lost the drive, you know, to want to be better. And I was still making videos and nobody is watching them. Nobody. But you just got to keep going. You got to keep going no matter what. No matter what. But yeah, this gives me a lot of memories and perspective. A lot of things can happen in, you know, in five years. I'm gonna go straight home and So this had the oh my goodness, this had the four pizzas, so medium sizes. I cannot believe I finished that. I don't know the last time I had a pizza here. It's it's been a while. goodness and this is me watching the legends when it used to be good dc comics hmm. wow so so all of this was about 3630 calories so you got the uh, pepperoni thing cross the sensation pepperoni and ham and you got the uh rustico rustico quattro uh Formaggi pizza. So I had the two, two of the sensation pepperoni ones. It's a lot of calories. 
And that's just to give you perspective on how the cheat days used to be. And this is just one of the days. I used to have, goodness, so many, so many. And the underlying lesson from this video is just be wary on your fitness journey. Don't deprive yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people and really do trust the process. Because if you don't, especially when it comes to nutrition, you will get to a point of an eating disorder if you don't watch out. Because this happened to a lot of people. And the body dysphoria and eating disorder is hand in hand. It, 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 it does happen more than you think. More than you think. Anybody in fitness experienced some form of body dysphoria. And it's just a warning to you, especially if you're new. I'm happy I'm out of that phase. It may be a phase some of you are facing right now. And it may be a phase to expect to somebody you may know that's getting into fitness. So make sure to watch this video, share it to somebody that may really hear this. Because I'm telling you right now, long-term thinking is key. Nothing comes overnight. Trust the process. You will have the last laugh. Don't compare yourself to other people. Don't uh, deprive yourself. Really do trust the process because you don't want it to turn into this. This was me. I used to have crazy cheat days, even though my physique was good. Deep down, this is not healthy. This is not healthy to do, even though if you count between the Monday and the Sunday, I, I averaged out to about a calorie deficit. But this kind of habits can compile and transfer into another thing. So really be careful, really be careful. That's all I have for the video. I hope this gave you a bit of perspective on what I used to deal with as far as eating disorder and body dysphoric issues. I know a lot of people deal with this and this may be a video you need to hear to help you this year. Know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Like always, get better every day, optimize yourself. I'll see you next video. God bless.